you're going to want to make your cord um, about five or six feet, um, depending on how big you want your chaplet to be. Um, this one is more of a closer to six feet on the spectrum, I guess, <laughs> and this one is closer to five. So you're just going to want to be aware of that when you're spacing your beads. Um, the bigger you make it, of course, the bigger you can space it, the smaller the smaller you can space it. And so if you have a small wrist, or whoever you're giving it to has a small wrist, um, you know, it's not going to be a problem if you do a shorter length. Um, it might end up like this one here, where you don't have any excess space. Whereas if you go with a longer one, that'll work for people who have bigger wrists, or if you just want to have extra space, it just gives you more room for adjustment. So to start out, just hold both of the ends of your cord. One of the ends you're going to make into your loop. And so when it's done, that's going to be the loop that your cross will go through. So go ahead and make your loop on one end. And then you hold the other end, you bring, it, bring these two together. So this length that's sticking out here is on your loop side. Then this length is coming over. When you put le this length over, um, then you're going to wrap this one around your finger three times for your Hail Mary. Then you're going to pull over the one that's not your loop. You're going to pull it right through your bead. Then you'll tighten that down. This is your first Hail Mary bead. And so you're going to want to make nine more, just like it. Again, keep in mind your spacing. If you're using five feet, you're going to want your beads closer together than if you're using um, six feet of cord. Down. And I'll try to have your beads spaced evenly um, along your leg. So for each of these beads, you see you're taking not your loop end, but your other end, just like you did for your first bead, you're putting it, putting these together, um, wrapping this around your finger, and you're wrapping down your finger instead of up your finger, and then you're pulling this through. You're going to want to make sure that it's nice and tight. That way, um, it won't come apart. It'll stay where you want them to stay. Once you have 10 Hail Mary beads, then you'll be ready for your Our Father. Your Our Father bead is going to be made exactly the same way, only you are wrapping it four times around your finger instead of three. And you're spacing it a little farther away from your Hail Marys to uh, distinguish the bead. So wrap it around four times, go through, and space it as you're tightening it down. Once you have that, you're going to make another four wrap bead. That's going to be the top of the cross. So take a look at a, a sample here. This is this is the cross, the finished product. So we're making the top right now. Now your next bead, you can either, um, for your next bead, you can either wrap six times to make a six wrap bead for the bottom of your cross, or you can do two, three wrap beads. Either way, I'll look fine. Three. 
You are going to leave a very small space in between your 4 and your 6 bead here. You just want it to be a big enough space that you can tie your crossbar for your cross. So it's a nice little space. Then you're going to burn off this end. Then at the end that you just burned off, you're going to make your crossbars. So take one end and point it down, take the other end and point it up. Wrap it around your finger three times, pull through. You're going to wiggle it down to the end here and you're tightening it. Try to be as close to the end as you can. That is one side of your crossbar. You're going to tie this on in that little space you need. Then you're going to tie your other crossbar. So take your end, hold it right here, wrap it around your finger three times, pull through, and down. There's your cross, and now your excess you're going to burn right off. And be careful because it's very hot to so <laughs> And then you have your final um, chaplet. You can stick your cross right through this loop, put it on your wrist. And there it is.